Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, the kids, me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my crochet wigs. I found some new caps that I want to show you all. So this lace cap is going to be from Free Trist. It is a wig cap, but it's a crochet wig cap. So it already has... Uh, the actual net for you to crochet the hair on and i love that it comes with like a small lace piece if you did want to crochet the hair inside of the lace as well as three combs it's easier for it to stay on your hair now what i would suggest is if you want to do maybe like a U part and not have the lace, this is another cap by Free Tris. So they have two different ones. And um, you can get the oval part, which is like the U part, or you can get the standard one with the actual lace. Depends on which one you want to do. In this video, I'm showing like the method of a U part. So the hair that I'm going to be using is by Free Tris. Everything is from Free Tris, like Jesus. Um, <laughs> it's going to be the wand curl, and I believe this is the baby wand curl. You will see it on the screen because I'm, yeah, it just passed. I don't know which one it is. And this is what the hair it looks like. I believe I got this in the color two. I love how it was able to easily separate the hair. I had no tangling, no nothing. Love how soft this hair is. So of course you're going to need the crochet needle, and this is going to be a knit picker. Now, this is what I saw someone do. I'm gonna put their information down in the description box below. This is what they use to actually crochet the hair inside of the net. Because as you can see, the net pieces, uh, when you get to the lace part, is very is a lot smaller than the actual net. So that's the reason why they use the, um, the knit picker. So here is just going to be standard way that you would regularly crochet your hair inside of braids. You're going to do it with the net. You're just going to stick it through. You're going to tie it once. And that's all you really need to do is just tie it once. This hair is just so bomb that there's no need to tie it more than one time. If you want to do two times, you can do that. But once is good enough. So as you can see around here, um, I'm just basically placing them in. But you want to make sure when you're placing the hair inside of the on the cap that you're strategically placing it so you want to stagger them in open spots i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about um in clips coming up but this is going to get uh repetitive because i do want to show you over and over again so you can pretty much get it so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get into the video Also, I want to add, as you can see, the middle portion of the wig cap, the net pieces are smaller than the outside temple of the wig cap. So what I did was in the middle, I went through maybe like two or three of the, the pieces, the holes inside of the net, and I crocheted the hair in. On the outside, I just went through one or two because the pieces are bigger. Hopefully you feel where I'm going. If not, then if you watch, I think you'll feel my drift. And this is what I mean by staggering the pieces. As you can see, it's not too close together. This wig is going to get extremely full. So um, you don't want to put them too close together. And as you can see, this is what it's looking like. I'm always, almost halfway done. So I'm just showing you what it's looking like. Um, I will leave in the comment section below how many packs I use. I believe I only use two packs for this look.
is what it's looking like we are all done as you can see the lace does have a big gap in between because that's supposed to be for you to crochet um some of the hair inside of the the lace but because the lace is so small the holes inside of the lace is so small i saw someone else use this um, I got this off of Amazon. I'm going to put her video down in the description box because y'all, I'm not even going to lie. This is a very tedious thing, but it does make it look more natural, like a regular, like a lace front wig. However, I didn't have enough time and I got like a few minutes in and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do this. So you're going to see me go in the video and I'm pretty much going to cut this lace through and I'm going to apply this wig like a U part wig. And then this is going to be me putting on the wig before I cut the lace in the front and before I cut the lace all the way through. As you can see, I didn't have to shape or frame this to my face. This hair length is so perfect and the way that it falls and lays without you having pretty much do anything to it. I didn't put no product on it. Didn't have to run my hands through it. No scissors, no nothing. And as you can see, it is very secure. I did go ahead and put it down with just the combs inside of it. And girl, it's not going nowhere. And this is optional. I always keep wig clips as well as clipping pieces that you can sew onto your wigs. I always keep them around my house. You can get them from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description box. But yeah, I pretty much, I put a couple of these on the wig so that when I inserted the, the U part on my hair, I didn't want to leave any leave out out. So I just wanted to make sure that it would stay. And to be honest, usually I would leave some type of hair out to kind of blend it in. Or I would go in and crochet the hair, some of the hair pieces on my braids. But I wanted to give you two looks in this video, so that's what I'm going to be showing you. And this is going to complete this video. As you can see, I got two looks and one. This is something that I could take off and put it right back on. As you can see, it is a wig. So I'm going to put all of the information down in the description box below. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.